Alright, we're gonna <coughs> Sorry. So we're gonna vlog. We're gonna try to vlog this week. We've been really slow on the YouTube content, but you know what? Let me lay it out. This week, I'm gonna be recording throughout, and throughout we're going to be giving tips and you know just pieces of advice for the people applying this year, and you know whenever you're ready to apply. So. Hopefully the video is good. Right now I'm on my way to the gym. It's Monday. It's Monday morning. Luckily, uh, I don't have to go in until the afternoon for clinic. So that gives me time to, you know, study a bit in the morning. And right now, take a little break, go to the gym, and then um, come back, get some breakfast, and get ready for for clinic. So first off, you know, people studying for the MCAT uh, right now. And you know, it's it's very hard. It's a very hard test, but it's very doable. So for all of you guys starting to study for the MCAT, you know, make sure you take your mental breaks. Make sure to go for a walk, you know, take some deep breaths. If you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling like, you know, just, you know, it, it's normal. You know, we, we go through things, life happens, and you have this extra big exam that has a ton of weight, you know, in, in your future. So it's 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 understandable, it's, it's real. Like it, it's normal to feel, you know, stressed out, sometimes anxious, uh, you know, when everything else is going on in your life as well. So just remember to, you know, do that. You know, I remember doing that and uh, or feeling that way and, you know, taking breaks and stuff. And that really helped. Um, like going to the gym or working out or whatever that case, the case may be, you know, singing a song. I don't know, listening to a song, watching a YouTube video. Um, that's important, you know, because um, it's it's a marathon. It's a marathon and, and uh, you got to train your mind and your body for that. Lucky to have this view while I'm in clinic. At least I see some trees. Sun still out. Writing up these notes. Catch you guys when we're out. What's up, y'all? So this is the next day, actually, from when uh, I started this video yesterday. And uh, I'm in the OR. Well, I'm in the OR floor. We just got finished with the case. And then we're about to go into another one. I just saw an adrenalectomy, uh, laparoscopic. That was cool. Um, uh, I'm gonna see another one, but it's going to be a little bit more complicated this time. Scrubs. What's up, y'all? Good morning. It's Wednesday, about about 5:20 in the morning. On my way to the hospital to round, to pre-round. Get ready for rounds. All right. I've been really bad at recording. I've been really bad at recording these uh few days, to be honest. But um. You know, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. Uh, so it's... And um, I'll, I'll try to show you as much as I can. But uh, remember, everyone studying out there and everyone preparing their applications. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. Sometimes I can't believe, you know, I'm in the hospitals and I'm, I'm, I'm seeing patients and I'm talking to patients from interacting with 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 this with these uh interacting with these world-renowned physicians and surgeons 
it's really an honor it's a privilege so y'all can be there too that's that's the message but uh let me get out here and, and show y'all a little bit more this is uh, one of the outpatient buildings it's the main or right there i mean the main building you can see the med school from here before this elevator leaves me so it's Today. Thursday, May 4th today. It is 7 in the morning. Just uh, gonna go grab something, a little coffee or something at Reagan cafeteria and then um, come back. You know, it's, uh, spoke with the patient today. Uh, we explained what's gonna happen, um, you know. So catch you guys later. All right, y'all, so it's around 5.40. I'm pulling up to the hospital. Just had breakfast in the car, had a little uh, quick oatmeal, um, and getting ready for four rounds. So I'm on my way, on my way to a workroom that we're gonna meet up, and uh, I'll show you more. So. Eighth floor. Eighth floor this one, y'all. This room. This elevator is kind of nice, huh? <laughs> you heard that quick? So we're out. Just finished the second case. Luckily for me. Oh, sorry about that. So just finished up the second case. Um, luckily for me, the sun's out. It's still kind of early in the day. So um, it feels good. It feels good when you get out early in the day like this. Um, you know, because it's like time to do stuff trying to catch the flight uh surgery rotation has been pretty busy so every time i could get a day you know getting out before five it's a bonus but today we want to talk a little bit about uh, like getting ready for the personal statement things like that you know when it comes to writing things for the application you definitely want to have people read them over and you know, obviously receive feedback, get people that have gone through the process to read it and things like that. But you know, I think you there, there should be a limit, you know, you don't want too many people reading it because I think there is such a thing as uh, too much feedback. And then the statement could almost not even be you anymore. You know, that makes sense. But you know, maybe three, three, four, no more than five people for sure, I would say. Even then, I think that's pushing it a bit you know you just want to get some ideas you get what people are, you know are, are are saying about what you have to say if you're clear and then of course try to be in the mind of an admissions committee member right a ton of people are are going to submit these make yourself stand out right out of the thousands of applications and the people reading these how is yours going to be a bit different right so you know just something to keep in mind but anyway right now just finished up in the hospital gonna go home get something to eat because i haven't had lunch um the cases were kind of back to back so it's fine um hopefully i'm not boring y'all hopefully i get to link up with the food irvin some someday this week maybe even the weekend i'll keep this going y'all guess what it's been for sure a couple of months since uh continuing this video or since i last recorded for this video when i was on surgery rotation but that's all right that week uh i don't even think i saw irvin because i hardly even saw myself and uh you know it was busy uh surgery rotation in general was busy but um right now this food just got out i was studying so 
he said if I was down the gym, hit legs, I'm down. So I've been studying all day, taking a little study break right now, hit hit legs. And then uh, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all the food right now. So uh, my bad for that, but I still hope you guys like this video and find it somewhat helpful. All right, you guys. And actually while I'm walking over and we're talking about advice, I wanted to kind of touch on something real quick. It might seem super simple, but you know, I just kind of want to talk about it. Um, in terms of submitting your primary application, I think there's a lot of uh, stress that goes around when, you know, like what, what's the correct time or when should I submit my primary application? Should I have it ready? The, the first day the AMCAS opens, things like that. I personally don't think you have to have it ready the first day. I personally actually submitted it maybe two months after it opened. I'm not saying you should too, but you know, you shouldn't worry about it too much. Just make sure your application is ready. That's the most important thing, that it's ready, it's not rushed, and that you feel good about it when you submit it. That's the most important thing. Um, there's not a, like a perfect time for it, but you should feel like your application is perfect for you, if that makes sense. So, also don't wait too long though you know what i mean like don't don't push it to the end of course don't wait till till like the last month or whatever or when school deadlines are approaching i think you know but give yourself some time make sure it's good you know and it'll be fine so y'all a little bit of ucla there goes a ronald reagan <laughs> some parking structures it's a nice day out too it's not as hot as, as it's been Ooh. Huh? Yeah. Finally seen this fool after a couple months, I think. Important to hit your calves. Hitting legs today. I'm following uh, Irvin's workout today, so he's gonna destroy my legs. All right, y'all. So we just, well, I just finished up the leg workout because I actually have to head back um Irvin still stayed working out but I'm glad I got to see him for a bit you know get to catch up a bit and then uh get to do what we both like to do which is work out so it's always fun to work out with the homie but now it's time to get back to work and uh I appreciate y'all watching the vlog I'm gonna kind of finish it here uh thank y'all for the support the views um we're going to try our best to keep putting out more content. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys find it helpful. That's what it's really about, you know. And uh, if you have any other questions or anything, you know, leave it down in the comments and we'll get to it. So good luck, y'all.